Turning the tides, my ass. <laughs> More like lying in your own pockets, you slimy shit. What the hell are you? Ah, Biddle. Oopsie daisy. You sent two dozen National Guardsmen to their deaths for a paycheck. When the president gets wind of this, you're a dead man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's just that the way the veins in your forehead are throbbing, it's so <laughs> comical. Mr. Assistant Secretary, these accusations sound serious, and... First of all, it's Mr. Secretary now. As in Secretary of War. As in the fucking right hand of God. Secondly, do you think the President of these United States is gonna give a royal fuck about the pissant accusations of a podunk- Oh. Go ahead, Reggie, do it. Give me a reason to throw your cowpoke ass in a new gate and flens your father's legacy to the bone. The Harrow Institute has a much better ring to it, don't you think? Mr. Secretary, maybe it would be for the best if you... Maybe it would be best if you stopped interrupting me, you groveling mule! You want to make yourself useful? Get to the kitchen and fetch me a cup of coffee! Now fuck off and find some vampires to kill. That's much more your speed. Oh. <sighs> You want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. But you useless clowns. Alright. We just gotta leave him alone. I feel like that's for the best. Mr. Rentier, your father's waiting for you in the basement. Full-blown war with the ticks? Your Dr. Blackwell deserves far more respect than those bureaucrats have given him. <sighs> but not much we can do until we get free of those paper pushers in D.C. Yeah, well, I bet they wouldn't be so cocky if a tick came knocking on the White House door. Uh, probably not. But that would mean we failed. And no one wants that. Yep. Let's get down there. Blackwell is up there. It'll hurt a bit. Uh, don't move, Reyes. That's what he said right before he died. Don't move. They'll hear you. And then they tore him apart. Fucking bats. Fucking plague. Fucking hero. Ah, damn. That hurt. Which is why we need to stay strong. It's like nothing we've ever witnessed before. A new age of empirism. That fucking hero needs to go. alarming state courier january 1895 massive difficulties encountered on the rail line between dickinson and marshall city but how did you manage to extend its longevity i'm surprised voltage that high didn't burn it out it's all about the percentage of copper in the alloy yeah i'll show you my notes seriously I would love to see your original research. It would be an honor. Wait, so is he fine now? <laughs> 